Over the holiday season, the police department is adding extra enforcement in hopes of preventing residents from driving impaired. Naperville News 17's Kristen Gitchell went to find out more about this year's campaign. Baby, it's cold outside, but don't take that half a drink more. The Naperville Police Department is cracking down on drunk driving from now until January 4th. So drive sober or get pulled over. Everybody is typically off work coming up here the next week or two, out of school, things such as that. And alcohol goes kind of hand in hand with the Christmas holidays and the New Year's holidays. So this is a big time of year for us to get out there and do the enforcement for the alcohol, the impaired driving. And a lot of travelers on the roadway, we're going to look at seatbelts too. It's a part of a statewide initiative to curb drunk driving during the holidays. This year I think we're at about 370 DUIs for the year, which is a little bit less than we were last year. So we may have a busy season, hopefully we don't. Hopefully it's a quiet season. To experience the effects of driving while drunk, I headed over to the Naperville Police Department to take on the sobriety test. Gosh, it's like everything moves as soon as you put them on. Okay, so what Officer Heastian is going to be doing right now, he's going to be conducting the one-leg stand test. Uh, she has the goggles on, which are going to simulate a nighttime driving or nighttime impairment. The first thing he's going to get her to do is to stand with her feet together, hands to her side. So at this point in time, she is going to go ahead and try to attempt the test. Some of the things we're looking for is obviously she's swaying back and forth. She's raising her hands up over the air. At this time, we'll remind her, put her hands down to her side. Uh, her foot is not necessarily six inches off the ground. She's falling down to the right. So these are some of the cues that we're looking for when she's conducting this test. After failing the 30 second test, I switched to the daytime goggles where I still had no control over my balance. I'm gonna simulate for this, or the test she's gonna attempt for this is gonna be the walk and turn test. Again, with this test is that we're gonna look at how well she listens to instructions and her balance. As you can see, she's having some trouble just standing there. Her arms are raising up in the air. She's kind of swaying to the right a little bit. Now she stepped off of line there. These are some of the things that we're looking for when we're administering this test. Now it was time to try some stacking. This is not a test that we use. This is not part of our field, uh, field sobriety test. This is an exterior test. We're going to ask them to put the cups in place, uh, try to get them in the right order. Uh, and you'll see how hard it may be for her to actually do this. See, she had our time with, this, with the size of that cup. Nailed it. And that took her probably about 30 seconds. So why don't we take the glasses off and have her do it without the glasses and see how long it takes her. This time, just five seconds. A sobering great. reminder of how distances can be distorted when you're under the influence. Now that my vision is intact, it's clear to see that one last drink may be one too many. Wishing everyone a safe holiday. I'm Kristen Gitchell for Naperville News 17. The Naperville Police Department will not be putting up any roadblocks, but will be sending out about 40 extra officers to high problem areas.